haul for you. So these are the things I've accumulated over the past couple of months. Some of them I couldn't include in my all black everything haul that I did the last time. So I'm just going to show you everything I've bought. I have some makeup items and some fashion items as well. So I'm just going to go straight into it. From beautyjoints.com I picked up another one of the Wet n Wild vanity palettes. Hopefully this one actually stays unbroken. But a few people commented in my what's in my bag video that they also have the same problem this particular palette it just seems to break so I have another one just because I need to restock and I know that it will get sold out and I was kind of scared that it will get sold out so I bought another one so I have like three I have like three like I haven't used um, but I am honestly scared for this one now because if this one breaks as well it would just be annoying I mean no, nobody wants broken eyeshadows and then I also picked up two of their lipsticks and um, this is in the this is in 908C and 965 Sugar Plum Fairy, which is the um, Dupe 2 Rebel. You probably can't even see. I haven't opened it yet, so I can't really show you. And Cherry Picking. So Sugar Plum Fairy is one of my favourite all-time lipsticks by Wet n Wild. I kind of pref I actually prefer this to the Mac Rebel lipstick. So I reached for this a lot more, though I've actually lost my Rebel lipstick, but yeah, this one, and then this is like a really nice cherry colour. They're both matte lipsticks, but they're not like drying or anything, but I just knew I had to restock. Lip pencils, I have two from MAC. I have Night Moth and Cherry. So Night Moth is like a really dark, um, plummy, dark purpley plummy colour. And then Cherry is a really like, intense red. Cherry is a bit too bright for Ruby Woo which is what I bought it for so I would probably pair it with Russian Red and I want to pick up Brick instead. And then two from NYX I have Deep Purple and Current. That's Current and that's Deep Purple. Um, Deep Purple is a lot more intense. They look quite similar but they're kind of different. If you look at the bottom I don't know if you can tell that the shades are different. You probably can't, but I can. And these I got from eBay, and obviously the MAC ones were from the MAC counter. I have two sleek lipsticks. I have one in Vamp and Cherry. So this is Vamp and this is Cherry. Cherry has more of a sheen to it, and Vamp is supposed to be a matte shade. They are different shades. You probably can't tell in the video either, but they are different shades. And I have two Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks. Viva Violet is a vampy purple and then we have cherries in the snow. I kind of thought cherries in the snow would be more on the ready side but it looks like a, like a pink. The Rimmel Caped Matte Lipsticks and this is in the shade 107 Burgundy Plum Colour, it's that one there. It's looking a lot lighter in camera than it does in person. That's what it looks like close to my lips. Also I have a Maybelline Superstay 10 hour tint gloss. And this is one of those ones that actually stay in your lips. And this is in the shade Timeless Plum. I was looking for a plummy purpley lip gloss to go with my plummy purple lipsticks. And this is the closest I could find. And this is the sort, this is the applicator that it comes in. It smells absolutely gorgeous and that's the shade I have three nail polishes all quite similar shades still in the red plummy burgundy family wine family um, Barry M this is called ruby glitter and this just has like black and red glitter I have this Rimmel one called rapid ruby another Barry M called red wine I have one of the sleek eyeshadow palettes. This is in the, uh, this is called PPQ Shangri-La. And these are the shades, and this is the Respect palette. I went for this palette, and I will be doing a tutorial with this eyeshadow palette. I thought it was quite nice. It consists of, you know, shimmer, shimmery and matte shades. I don't know if you can see the shimmery ones and the matte ones. I think they're like seven pounds now, or seven pound 50. They used to be 6.49, but they've kind of gone up. And one of my subscribers, or one of my friends, was going to the US and she asked if I wanted her to pick up anything and I was really grateful for that and she did pick me a few 
pick me up a few things and also I asked for some of the Maybelline colour tattoos. Nine shades, I was really really grateful for that. So I'm just going to go through each one. They look like that for those who don't know what they look like. They're just like, they're kind of similar to the matte paint pots. So they're like eyeshadow bases. First one is Fierce and Tangy. Test My Teal. This is Blue On By. Edgy Emerald. Ready Set Green. Too Cool. Toughest Taupe. Pomegranate Punk. And Fuchsia Fever. So she wasn't able to pick up any of the fall collections because I think they were all sold out but I really was grateful for this and I definitely can't wait to use them in my tutorials. So that's all I have for my makeup haul so on to my fashion haul. So first off is this bag. I showed this in my previous video, my um, what's in my bag video. I showed you this bag which I've been using for about a week and a half, about two weeks now. It's from bagink.com and I purchased this in September and I only just got this like two weeks ago so you can imagine how frustrated I've been. I ordered this on the 15th, about the 15th of September and a few hours later I go on the website and it says the bag is now pre-order so I'm thinking why wasn't I told this before I bought this? So it said it was going to be sent off, it was going to be shipped available on the 15th of October so a month after I had paid for it. So I am very upset, I emailed them and they said, oh yeah, the bag is on pre-order, but you didn't say this on the website. Anyway, so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. I go back to check and it says it's still not ready, another week or two to wait. And I'm just like, what is going on? The money at the time I had, I spent on this bag because I really wanted it so much. And why is it not here? What's happening? And it's like, oh, you know, there's a bit of a delay, you know, it being made in the warehouse and everything so another week and a half to wait so I'm like fine fair enough so the week goes and then the same thing again so I'm like really really pissed off at this point because I don't want to have to wait for something I know it's and it, the fact that it's not from the UK as well I have to wait for ages so I'm like I need some sort of conversation because this is ridiculous so they're like oh we're sorry and you will send you something along with the bag so this got shipped on the 30th of October it got to the UK, got to customs about around the 6th of November, which is this month. I've been tracking it online, so I go to check online and it says, customs are holding on to my item. What is going on? So I, was, I, called, the, um, I called the depot people who, you know, who send off the, all the shipments and everything, and they're like, oh, they're holding on to every item coming from China because there'd been some sort of, you know, fraud thing going on. So everyone who's bought anything from China, you know, everything's been held. Like, what is going on? Is this like a sign that I'm not meant to have this bag or something? Is this like two months already? So, two weeks, it was held for two weeks and it only just got released last week, two weeks ago. And to be honest, it was definitely worth it because I absolutely am in love with this bag. Love it. So it came like this. It's so sturdy and it stays upright. And I hate bags that crease and fold. I was praying, please don't, please don't crease the bag, you know, during shipping. Please don't fold the bag. I want it to stand up straight and it just it stayed that way. So it's black leather with you know silver hardware, just in case you haven't seen the what's in my bag video, and it's just full of spikes. I love it. I love it. I don't care what anyone else thinks. I absolutely love this bag. It comes in white and pink, but I think these, the black one's a lot, it's a lot better, and it goes with a lot of things. So I would normally just open up this bit here. I would carry it like this. I'll push out the sides, which obviously is a hazard for people, and I love it. It was about one hundred and seventy-five dollars, so that's about one hundred and twelve pounds quite on the pricey side but at the time I was like I won't spend anything else I'm just gonna get this and yeah I love it so this is what they sent along with the bag it's like a scarf type thing so um, I don't know what it's just a random kind of print so this is a free gift along with the bag I need to rush through this because I have a lot to go through this grey furry jumper which I showed in my um, my lookbook, lookbook one. Hopefully I might have an insert here somewhere. If not, then I'll put the link to the lookbook. I paired this with 
um, a berry coloured skater skirt I tucked it in absolutely gorgeous it's in a size 12 and there's only one there's no link for this um, for this particular jumper because I only it was only the one being um, being sold this was 12 um, a size 12 it was quite small for a size 12 I have this dress from Topshop, I bought this like last month. It sold out pretty quickly. I think it's back again, but I think it's also sold out again. But I got it in a size six because they didn't have an eight, but someone said, I was reading a review on the Topshop website that um, the smaller sizes fit better or something. So I thought, okay, I'll get the size six, but I never tried the eight. So I don't know if the eight would have fit me as well. But I, look, I really like it. I wore this to the Fast Tag launch party. I would put the link to the outfit of the night video in the description box as well and I wore it with my uh, Jeffrey Campbell Lita Spikes and that bag, the spike bag, absolutely just, I loved it, I loved the outfit. I got this black one from ASOS which I wore to a wedding um, early in the month and it's also long sleeve, I think it's long sleeve, yeah long sleeve midi dress plain black really nice material and then also in the teal green color which I haven't worn this yet so the tag still tag still on it I'm thinking of pairing this with like leopard platform leopard heels so this is well from ASOS 22 pounds I have this jumper I showed you the black version in my all black everything haul video which I posted this my last haul video basically I have the black one which I got from eBay but this is from next the one from eBay was also from Next, but it was being sold on eBay. I got this from Next from the website, and this is a really nice berry red colour, and also a size extra large. I wanted it to really be quite long and full, quite loose, so I wear this with my leather trousers, my leather leggings, and some knee-high over-the-knee boots. I also showed this in my lookbook, so hopefully I'll put something here. If not, then the link will be down below. This was £32, but I had a £10 voucher so I yeah bought it for £22. From Primark I have this Hilo um, sheer chiffon shirt with yeah the Hilo detailing and the collar has these sort of um, gems around it crystals if you want to call it that. So this is in a size 12 I wanted it to um, fall quite loose and I'd wear it with my leather trousers leather leggings that sort of thing. Forever 21, which was like a few weeks ago, probably a month ago now, this, another white shirt, long sleeve shirt like this with gold buttons, if you can see them. I think it's about 20 something pounds. And then I got these really creased uh, faux leather shorts as well, which I, I wore in one of my outfit of the day videos with this shaggy fur. A jacket for a coat and this was about 15 or 17 pounds 15 something and I also have it in the purple as well I thought it was quite nice I still haven't worn this yet I don't know what to wear this with I have this furry really, really fluffy furry jumper with um, bow detailing all the way around it cream and this was from Quiz clothing and they have a store in Manchester but they have it around the country also have a website as well so I'll put the link down below I think it's about £35 but it's really really warm and this isn't a size medium looks like that also was featured in my lookbook as well so um, I wore this with like um, leggings and then boots as well so from H&M I have this long sleeve maxi dress it's a jersey material but it's a backless dress as you can see I don't know why I bought a backless dress for this weather, but I thought it was quite cool in the mannequin, so I picked it up. It was about £15, and I haven't worn this out yet because I need to get one of those strapless, invisible bra type things. Um, also from H&M, these two, these two wool floppy hats, which I also picked up. I think they're about £12 each, and um, I know Love of Fashion had these, and I had to get it, and I also got it in this very burgundy colour as well. Another one which I got from eBay, just a little bit wider, has a wider brim and these was, this was about £15 I think, so this was also in my lookbook and I wanted a really floppy one and if I still have the link I will put it in the description box. I got this coat from um, Zara, it looks like this, gorgeous black military style coat with the gold belt, which looks like that. Really nice form fitting coat, 
I love the shoulders as well like I said military style and it has the gold button so it can be worn like that or this way so buttoned up and like fastened in the top so I wear mine like this this was $99.99 oh it also has um really big really big side pockets there so it goes all the way in there there like that and I thought it was quite nice it's quite I think it goes up to my knee and it's a really nice coat now onto shoes I got these over the knee boots they look like this um, they cause a massive like unnecessary stare on Instagram but ain't nobody got time for that the leather and they have these studs going down the back it's like they're like suede and then they've got these studs going down the back as well and they're just absolutely gorgeous I think this is what makes the boot what they are and I love that they're um, sort of curved at the top so these just go um, just above my knee slightly above my knee and they're quite high platform about five inches probably so if you don't, if you're not used to wearing heels, you probably won't be able to walk in these. I wear my leather trousers and the red, the very red jumper. These were about £40. I got them from a, man a shop in Manchester, but you can get them on eBay. But I was told that they've already been sold out, but keep checking. But if you live in Manchester, and I'm sure they could be found on other websites. So from the same shop that I got the boots, I picked up these shoes. I was looking for some gold shoes to go with the go with my um, dress, which I wore to a wedding. The theme was like purple and gold. I had a purple gilly, just like a head tie thing, and I wanted gold shoes, but I couldn't find any, so I picked these up just in case I couldn't find any anywhere else. And they were fifteen pounds. I didn't end up wearing them, so I went back to return them, and I couldn't return them because I said they were on sale, and you couldn't return sale items. So I thought, okay, fair enough, fifteen pounds, I'll keep them. They're like a multicolored glitter. They've got some sort of like a mesh, it's like a mesh type, I don't know if you can see the mesh type um, material, plus the multicolour glitter as well, pretty high as you can see, and um, £15 I thought I might as well, I probably will find something to wear with this. I just have quite a few beanies, I have this black one, all from menswear sections, this is from H&M, it's a black beanie. H&M. I want to get the grey one, I want a green one, I want a purple one, I want pretty much all the colours I can get. This was about £6 I think. And then the rest are from Primark Men's. I just have a very burgundy looking one, a grey one, a black one and a dark grey one as well. And I love my beanies, especially when your hair's not looking too great. You can just put it on and yeah, you don't have to worry about styling your hair. So along with the zebra print mini dress, I wore this like body jewellery type thing. At first I wasn't sure what it was, I thought it was some sort of belt thing but I asked someone and they said it goes on your shoulder like this and the bits on the side just goes, you, put your, you basically put your arm through it so this hangs underneath like under your arm and this just sits um, on your shoulder. So it goes the front and also the back as well so I thought it was absolutely gorgeous and it was £35, it was quite a lot but I thought everyone has that um, zebra pit dress so why didn't I get something to make it stand out and make it look different so that's what I did. Love this, I would definitely will be wearing this again with something else so if you have something that's really plain, plain top this would definitely add a nice touch to it. My battery is going to die soon. Uh, so I'm really have to run through this. I still have a couple more shoes to show you. I have these um, bangles which I got from River Island. These I wore with the um, zebra print dress. So these are just like spikes and studs and just plain black bangles and they were £15 for a set. I have this ring as well from River Island. This was about £8. It's like a silver um, pair of wings. You can see with like silver crystals the top so I thought it was quite cool to go with my um, my dress and the rest of the jewellery I got from River Island as well. Some other ones as well from River Island. These are black and gold with um, leopard print. I think a leopard print, yeah. So it came in the set as well. I can't remember the price, probably about £15 but they look like that. I hope you can see that. I'm pretty much having to rush this video now. So from New Look I have these leopard print ankle boots. These are about £13. 
Um, I thought I don't have an I don't have leopard print boots, so I thought this will look really good. Wear this with anything. I also featured this in my lookbook. So new look, size seven. And um, recently I picked up these ones. These are um, suede boots with spikes. I love my spikes. Um, spikes at the back, and as you can see, the heel is kind of curved inwards. And these was these were thirty four ninety nine. You were doing twenty five percent off, so I got this for twenty five percent off. So they look like that. If you can see that very well, really cool. And then finally, these boots, which I tweeted if you guys liked them or not, and quite a lot of you said yes, get them, go for them. So they look like that. Ankle boots with fur around the top, and then like the these straps that sort of interlock um, between them and then it has these gold things there and then zip on the side. I think it's quite cool. It's quite high as well. These are real leather. They were $69.99 but I got them for 25% off so they look like that. I definitely wear them with like tights and like a skater skirt. I don't know yet but I will definitely figure something out. But that's pretty much all I have to show you. I am pretty much rushing. So everything will be listed down below if I have links for them. What I'm wearing on my face as well, I'll have in this down below and whatever whatever else I'm wearing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.